talking about another surgical procedure today and this is the distal splenorenal shunt now looking at this word you could see the word was splenorenal so this is just trying to tell you that you are doing this type of surgery to make a direct connection between the spleen and the renal vein that's a splenic vein and the renal vein do you understand because initially this splenic vein was connected to this place do you understand so now because there is portal hypertension now you want to now what reduce portal hypertension okay so this is another way of trying to what reduce portal hypertension all right so let's get to look at it and see how this procedure is done all right so a distal splenorenal shunt that's a dsrs it's a surgical procedure that creates a connection between a splenic vein and the left renal vein and you are doing this because you want to reduce the portal hypertension okay so this is splenic vein the splenic vein was initially connected to the portal vein now because there's portal hypertension that means there's basically what a backlog of blood in the vein in the liver you want to now what reduce it okay by connecting the splenic vein directly to the left renal vein okay so what are the indications when should you do this type of thing can you see this can you see that the the the, the, the veins here have one characteristic that they are like like that okay this is varicial bleeding there's refractory ascites if there's hepatic hydrothorax if there's portal hypertensive gastropathy and there's a blood cherry syndrome okay where there is a blockage of the blood supply due to a thrombus formation right the contraindication when you shouldn't do this type of um, thing it is a severe liver dysfunction it is portal vein thrombosis, the hepatic vein thrombosis, it is renal failure, the splenic vein thrombosis, right? Shouldn't do this type of thing. The surgical technique include what abdominal incision, splenic vein mobilization, then left renal vein mobilization, then you now anastomose the two of them. Okay, so this is it. Okay, no, can you see that earlier on the splenic vein was connected to the portal vein, right? But after you do the surgery, you are now cutting it, right? So you ligate, then you now connect it directly to the renal vein, right? This is because you want to reduce portal hypertension. Advantages, of course, it will reduce the portal pressure, it will decrease varicial bleeding, it will improve the ascites condition of the patient, okay? It will preserve liver function, right? And there's a low risk of what hepatic encephalopathy, right? Disadvantage. It requires specialized surgical expertise. There's a risk of the shunt becoming thrombotic. There's potential for renal dysfunction. And it may actually require what anticoagulation therapy. Okay. Then complications, shunt thrombosis, um, renal dysfunction, hepatic dysfunction, infection, and hemorrhage. All right, so I think that's it for this um, distal splenorenal shunt and why this surgical procedure is even done in the first place. Okay, so that's it. Bye for now.